Hey guys, Sabgo Gaming here again, and welcome back to more Legends of Wager HD. Last time I was in Wager HD, we started the Earth Temple, my least favorite temple or dungeon in the entire game. <sighs> anyway, today on Legends of Wager HD, we will continue the Earth Temple and possibly get to the, you know, the, the boss of the, uh, the dungeon, which is probably not all that far off, but maybe another episode off, really. This dungeon is pretty long, in fact, and maybe only three floors, but who oh boy, it is long. Anywho, let's continue. So, to start off, that uh, part of the wall there cannot be broken right away. We need another, we need the dungeon item for that. If you play this game before, you'll know what it is. If you don't, well, you'll see so eventually. But that cannot be broken away. We need the dungeon item. Which, if I am correct, should be a couple rooms away. If I look at the map. Indeed it is. It is a couple rooms away. So, we're just about to get it. Oh dear, this room, okay. We're about to encounter a new enemy, at least I think new for this let's play. Now, a bit of a trick here. You could either jump down um, to these, up to the uh, ground below, and then open them that way, but sometimes I like to do, Never mind. Oh hey, there's a spare key, uh, not spare key, <laughs> a small key. Well, we want to open all these, because believe it or not, that ladder will not come down until we defeat certain enemies in this room. Like this one right here. Welcome, guys, to the Redead. Possibly the scariest en enemy in the game, or really NPC in the game, period, next to Dante from Ocarina of Time. Or the moon from Majora's Mask. Anyway, but Redeads more or less are not all that difficult. They are scary. God, they scared me as a kid. Their scream. I mean, living with... I mean, I have autism, okay? I have Asperger's disease, so a lot of noise is like that. Like this? Ah! Actually, I, nope, no, 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 he's eating my face. He's eating my head. Oh, the hair must have tasted great. and must have tasted like back and cheese gets yellow. Anyway. Anyway, these things scared me as a kid. And having autism didn't really help either. But re-deads, they're pretty much worth defeating. Because often, they will drop a lot of money. A lot. Oh, there's one more. Let's see what happens if I throw a bomb. Nope, I'm fine. What happens if you throw a bomb at you? I never defeat a bomb before. Did I get him? Throw oh, one more. Just, just standing there doing nothing. Did I get him? No? No, stop screaming at me, please! Please! You make me live really. Oh, just one hit? Oh, apparently, this do, does do damage to him, okay? Oh yeah, they, okay, there we go. You dropped a yellow rupee. Yeah, they tend to drop a lot of rupees. Even though it's just one rupee worth more than, now greens. Anyway, time to go into the next room. And we, believe it or not, we do not need medley for this next room. Just go in. It's a dark room, so it's... Just walk in forward a little bit. And yes, here it is. New enemy, guys. This is Astolfos, one of the most powerful normal enemies in the game. They can be tough to deal with, and they do a lot of damage sometimes. If you're playing hero mode, just remember your damage from these Astolfos will do double the damage compared to normal, which we're playing right now. Well, you, once his head is off, you gotta be quick, man. You gotta be quick. Because he will do, he will reassemble himself, and he will continue to do that indefinitely and unlimited in a limited amount of times. He will continue to do it. But now we gotta do two of them to deal with, so yeah, this just got a whole lot more interesting. I remember just keep them stay away from walls, I'm not taking my own advice. And just wail at him, okay, his head's off. Thank God for lock on. Can you drop it? Okay, yeah, sorry, I'm not worried about that. I wouldn't recommend picking up the weapons that they have after defeating them, because they take a long time to, you know, like, charge up and get e able to be used. Oh, his head almost landed up there. That would be bad. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, he, he ran and pierced himself. himself. Pull him away away from the wall. I'm again not taking my own advice. Oh, by the way, if you want to use an arrow, watch this. <laughs> I like that. I was like, doing. Doing, doing. Why stop hitting yourself? Stop spinning your head. Why's your head spinning? Huh? Why's your head spinning? 
Okay, I'll stop that. Okay, yeah. Let's just defeat this guy and get our dungeon item. Ow! Ow! Oh god. I'm taking a lot of hits here. I'm defeating his... Oh, oh, I defeated his pelvis, apparently. Come on. Got him! He is dead. D-E-A-D, -E dead. Dead! I'm gonna hit all these on red because I need the hearts. Oh, that, that was green. Okay. Not doing as I was saying I was doing. Do as I say, not as I do, apparently. Alright. Now, we get this beautiful, beautiful hero shield that our grandmother gave us. About to go away, guys. About to go away. Because the dungeon item, believe it or not, is... Come on. Come on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It is the mirror shield. It's science surface, reflects beams of light. Hold zero to shield and press out or use out to aim for reflection. Yes, the mirror shield. If you prefer the hero shield design over the of the uh, mirror shield's design, which I don't know why you would, but I think the mirror shield looks awesome, especially with the master sword. It's right, color palette's just awesome. Anyway, if you like the mirror, the hero shield better, well, sucks sucks to be you because you need this. But uh, we just need to point this a little at the sun, make him happy. Like, ah, oh, yay, happy, I am happy. Like that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna have to, oh. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Gotcha. Gotcha. Pose. Kind of pose for a Poe. But now that we have the mirror shield, we don't exactly need, we don't need to uh, use the uh, man millet. Come on. Aim. Up, oh, I got him. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, got him. Him. I drop something? One rupee? Okay. I'm real anal about picking those up lately. I've got this entire let's play, to be honest with you. Alright. Got the Poe. Down on one knee. So used at this point. Using metal. Speaking of which, where is she? Okay, she's at the other door. I like how last episode I was like, uh, yeah, you don't need the, uh, you don't need the, uh, compass to find little medley, no? Because, uh, you can, she doesn't get lost all that often. But yet, I use it right away. Well, not really right away, but you know what I mean. Alright, so, we need to go back to that main room with a very scary face. Ooh. Let me guess. Yep. Yep. He's back, the floor master. Just die. Takes me arrows. Give them back to me. No. Okay. A little worth a shot. Flying. No. Yeah, she runs out of power eventually. Just gets tired, which makes sense because she's a like living creature. Like you know, oh, she's living and she gets tired. I'm going to pour the chew jellies and just go into here. Okie dokie. So. To do this puzzle, we need to get Medley under one stream of light, a stream of light, and link under another. And point at the sun in his eyes. Alright, got that one. I'm going to take Link over here and do the same to the other. Okay. 
that, and it will automatically make the um, smoke go away. Now, technically, that puzzle is unnecessary. Technically. There is a glitch to, uh, there's a glitch in this that involves the legs this guy, or arms or legs or whatever the hell they are. There's a, there's a glitch here that allows you to clip through this wall right here, because the collision here isn't exactly perfect. It allows you to get beyond this this guy right here and just pretty much bypass like half an hour's worth of gameplay instantly, really. If you really so wish to um, do it, I will. If, if you, um, I'll have some of, glitch, some of the glitch on YouTube, by the way. Some of the glitch is awesome. And Andy from that uh, from the A-Star show did a video on this game and showed how it's done. If I get permission from him, I'll... Gladly put the link to that video in the description to help that guy out, because I'm willing to help anybody out at this point, really. Anywho, let's move on. Oh, blue bubbles. Ignore them. They're mostly harmless, even though several playthroughs... Oh, you jinxed me! Come on. Unjinx. Your attention. Oh, no. I think it's, yep, that's it. That's how to do it. I use a frozen arrow. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I almost fell down in the blue smoke. Right. Right? I don't know if I'm too far away from it, or at least too far away from it. Alright, so we're moving on. So we completed the first room of the basement floor one. How nice. We're making progress. We completed almost all of floor one. Save for one room. I think. I think that one room we didn't explore on floor one is the boss key room. I am not sure. But uh, we'll find out eventually. Ooh, this room. Got a couple of re-deads in here, not too much. They're scary. But they're not all that bad. They're really easy. Just, uh, avoid getting hit by them. Oh, by the way, if you leave the room, these do respawn. Got you. Okay, you need me something? Ooh, red rupee, I'll take that. <laughs> Even though I can't hold it. All right, so. We want something on, we want the West Wing apparently. So I'm going to shine some light at this mirror and destroy this thing. If I'm correct, I think this is the room, this is one of the more annoying rooms, if not the most annoying room in the dungeon. I'm if I'm no. No, it is not. I'm not thinking. I'm thinking it's not. It's a little bit farther away. Yeah, this room. Okay. Of course I get jinxed when uh, item orbit moves. But thankfully we can just get out of the thing and grab the stuff. Get over here and not get taken by the floor master. Wait for the jinx to wear off. I don't care about that. 
So anyway, this giant mirror, we need to move it into place. And take out our skull hammer. Oh, wrong button. Smash it. Final smash! Alright, so we got this completed. And we need to... That makes that room over there now doable. And we have some light going in. We do not have to worry about this room ever again, thankfully, because, believe it or not, those floor masters do respawn. Spit a little bit. Oh, hey, the redes didn't respawn. I don't know why. at the map totally wrong this entire time. Oh, this room. I'm just gonna gun it through this room and just, you know, get what I need to get from here, because there's a treasure chest back here. I don't want to get. So we got a small key. And I am not gonna bother with you know what? I'm going to borrow with these for one, this ones because I remember there being an item in this room that we can get. Want arrows. You know what? I'm gonna apply a tactic. Gotcha! Bet you know I didn't can do that. Oh yep, treasure chest appears. I think this is a treasure chart. But yeah, I didn't think to die. If you freeze a um floor master and then uh, hit with a skull hammer, it's insta kill. I don't know why I did that earlier, but yeah, treasure chart. I got another treasure chart. Got a um, small key. Now we can move on. Ugh, I'm sorry, I'm tired today. That. and throw up on that ledge. Let's move on. To this room. Jeez, okay. Oh, another bubble. Yeah, just lure him to that light. Those bows are super easy. I said that luring him into the light makes him super. Oh, he's trying to get into me. He's trying to brainwash me. Oh, get away from me. Get away. Gotcha. Get 
when they like slither onto you like that. That, that sounded great. When they do that, that means they're trying to brainwash you. I think what it's called. Yeah, you don't want them to do that. Anyway, this room can be particularly annoying. The light is only coming from one direction and in a very linear math fashion. It's going horizontally, I think it is. And I, I've never been able to get my horizontal vertical's. Right I can get the diagonals, obviously, but not the horizontal vertical. You can never get those figured out. Anyway, I guess it's going in one direction. Even though all the other lights are going in one direction. Anyway, you know what I mean. I guess it's going in that direction only. You can only, you're going to apply a little bit of a, a little bit of knowledge on how light work, how directional light uh, works. Figure this out. These two elephant statues are super easy. You can get them with just Link only. But now for that elephant statue, you cannot get because the light is only going in one direction, obviously. So we need to take Medley and turn her into another mirror. Any position in here works, so just do that like that and that should work fine. Oh. I got it. And the door appears. Oh, this room. Map again. That bat is about to hit me, isn't he? Oh, my goodness. Okay. There's a treasure chest at the, end, the other end of this hall I'd like to grab. There's also rupees in these walls as well. Those coffins. Strangely enough, I don't know why this is called the Earth Temple. This sort of seems more like a like a like a morgue, to be honest with you. Like a morgue with all these cop. Free dead! Nah. Want to drop something? I just want to get this done with this room. Okay, good. That. There. Yellow ruby. There. Three dead. Coming out of the shell or coffin, whatever hell it is. All right. This treasure chest contains red rupee. I'm getting all these rupees and I can't even hold any of them. Because I've been stuck at 1,000 this entire time. <laughs> Sorry, Medley. I was a little too far away. I am pressing the f Come on! Again, the curse of pressing the wrong button screws me over again. That open, nothing there. Oh, Stalfos. I mess with you again. <laughs> oh, you need to go. Oh, okay, go. Oh, hey, a heart. I needed that. Not oh, really, but. Dang it! Come on. Uh, okay. Up. It's funny. The song is right behind me in view. I couldn't figure it out for a second. Okay, this room, this, believe it or not, is actually the main hub room. It's the typical Zelda dungeon, large, big room they have to uh, maneuver around very carefully. Yeah, this room. 
The boss's door is right over there. However, the floor, the door to the basement floor two is somewhere down there. But first, there is a rock over there I'd like to destroy. Ah! That was gonna be bad. Hold up. Yes, it did. Alright, so we got all three warp pots. Lovely. Now, do we need to take... I do not... Uh, yes, we do. That is that room right there. So we're almost done here, guys. Ow. Sorry, Medley. Sorry. Okay, good. There's no key on the door. I thought there was a key on the door for a second. <sighs> there, guys. The pain is not yet over. This room right here. Every Zelda Wind Waker HD or GameCube version player will despise and loathe this room. This is a particularly strange room. And for good reason. Well, not really good reason, it's awful. This is probably the most complicated puzzle you'll ever encounter inside the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD or GameCube version. So first off, you had to get Medley up here. Bear with me, guys. This is going to be a lot of explaining and a lot of stuff to do. So first, get her up there. If you'd like to get her back over here, I don't think it's necessary. So, let's just do, go ahead a little bit and push this where it needs to be. If you do things out of order, it's okay. It doesn't really matter as long as... If you find something like this right here, and it goes into a slot, it obviously will stay there. But if you do things a little bit out of order, it's fine. It doesn't really matter as long as you get that to light to where it needs to go. Right, got that light there. Okay, so we need to get Medley back over here. Again, just bear with me here. This is going to be a lot of explaining. No, I'm still flying. Oh, by the way, Medley can't climb ledges. That should do it. Alright, so also, if you're low on rupees, this right here is a fantastic opportunity to get some good rupees here. Because if you, bro when you break down these doors, or walls, this particular one I don't think it has one, but... Uh, yeah, this one does. Okay, there's a little alcove behind the mirrors. They will contain rupees, and a lot of them. If I had the final rupee upgrade, I would have be able to get all these rupees and make them make use of them. But I don't. Why is it not moving? Why is it not moving? Oh. Yeah. I was like, why is it not moving? I was like, no. I'm derping out a lot today. Also, by the way, as a side note, don't listen to Disney theme songs or Disney songs from awesome Disney movies all day long, otherwise you get them stuck in your head. Because I got some Disney songs stuck in my head and I can't get them out. For acting. Alright, so I need to move this. Come on. Wait, I'm not wasting time here. Wait, come on. Now this is a good opportunity to get that treasure chest right there. There are a couple treasure chests in this room, by the way. Come on. There we go. Got it. Alright, what's in the treasure chest? the treasure chest. Oh, purple rupee. Okay. Okay, and we need to break down this elephant statue over here. Aim correctly, there we go. Alright, another mirror. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry I've been coughing a bit, I've been coming down off of an allergy cold. Just, or just plain allergies. Things are getting back into season around here where I live, so... Yeah. So tempted to sing Prince Ali from Aladdin. 
But I know I'm just getting content ID to real like instantly, even though I'm getting content ID to be on Nintendo anyway. Or even copyright strike, which is something I don't know what. Okay, good. We got the first half of this room completed. Oh god. And it only took a billion hours. Well, not really a billion hours, it wasn't that long, but. We already got the first part of the second part already completed when we did that thing earlier. I'm gonna get that treasure chest first, because that contains a joy pendant. Remember correctly? Is it a joy pendant? It's just a regular chest, so it might contain a joy pendant. Yep, joy pendant. We got that symbol there. Now we need to use medley. Now, even though the symbol says, you know, like, mm, actually, you know what? Never mind. I'm thinking wrong. Come on. Okay, that should do it. Get some more rupees that I cannot hold. <laughs> All right, got that. And the last mirror. Hold on, in place. Okay, now it's in place. Last mirror. Oh, look at the fruits of our labor right here. This is gonna look so fantastic. It's like, it's like, personally for me, every time I do this room and I see this all come together, even on my first playthrough of this game, it feels so nice to see how you can much you've accomplished in a very annoying and tedious room like this. All right, one thing left to do, and point the um, light where it needs to go. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Come on. I. <laughs> Sorry. Give me a minute. Why do I keep pressing the wrong button? It's like this entire playthrough. It's just a. a I should, no. I put push and put at the end of the let's play and a montage of every time I pulled out the bomb. When I didn't need to. Because I don't know how many times I've done this, du I've done in this dungeon alone. Uh. Oh! Ah! Ah! Buttons! Buttons! But. But. Buttons! All right, get this room done and over with. All right, got that. That room up ahead should be the, the uh, the, oh, hey. Now that we've completed this room, that door, there's a door on the other end of that hall. There's something that we can get in there. We so wish. Ow! Stop us. Oh, he's resembling himself. Crap. 
I'm gonna lure him over here and just hit him with another arrow. <laughs> that seemed to be working quite well for me. Just get green sheep shots on him. Gotcha. Okay. Alright, next one. Oh, we have to shine a light at them? Okay. Right. Alright, Stallfuls number two. Gonna lure him over here a little bit. Also, by the way, I don't think we've seen it in this Let's Play. But enemies' weapons can, um, when enemies hit themselves, hit a uh, item orb, it's just laying on the ground somewhere, their weapons can destroy them. And unlike the GameCube version, and items that come out of item orbs in this game do go away. But yeah, just, uh, be kind of careful in this particular room about it. We haven't seen it been an issue up to this point because we've never been into a room this this kind of cramped before. Yep. Just keep that in mind. I never thought that shooting arrows had him. Just stun him a little bit and would be so useful. Yeah, treasure chest, which is a much better looking treasure chest, so it's not gonna be some generic, like bad generic item. Joy pen or a skull necklace. in this treasure chest. Treasure chart, okay. And I think that's the third one in this dungeon, I think. Alright, let's get that uh, boss key, I think is, ne is what it is. Yep, boss key. I recognize this room anywhere. So we gotta try to take out this dark nut. Oh, I didn't take out his helmet. No, 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 no. Ow! Well, I need to take out these. What well, another bomb? <laughs> Jeez. painful literally and mentally than I should have been. Ooh! That's a knight's crest. How many do I have? I have ten! If you know what I'm alluding to, you're gonna be- you're, If you know what I'm doing, play this game before you know what I'm alluding to. When we're done with this dungeon, guess what we're doing? Oh yeah. I'm see old Grant. It's gonna be time to see old Gramps. But when we're done with this dungeon first. <laughs> yeah. right. Where's Medley? Lost her again. Oh, she's at the, uh, at the door. She's at the front door! The ladder. Oh, there it is. I'm so tempted to sing Prince Ali, I don't know why. Probably because I've been singing it all day. Don't you disrespect me, little man. Don't you dare gate or derive. You're in my world now, not your world. Well, thankfully this ain't Twilight Princess. 
Now, all that's left to do in this dungeon is to defeat the boss. That, that is literally the only thing we have to do in this dungeon. We are pretty much done right here. Whether, taking Medley into the boss room is inconsequential. Whether you do it or not, it's inconsequential. We can just literally leave her right here right now and go and defeat the boss. There will be a cutscene at the end of the boss that she'll appear in whether or not she's in the room with you or not. Doesn't really matter. So we can just go in there right now. But you have to fly over there. If you rather save your magic, which you do not need for the boss, by the way, you can just tell Medley to come back up here and she'll fly you over, which is what I prefer to do. Because I'd rather not waste my magic on uh, just flying over the Deco Leaf. Deco Leaf! No. What? No, no, no. Press button, mash button, mash button, mash button, mash button, mash button, mash. Yeah, I'm just gonna fly over there with Medley. To, you know, for sake of the story, really. I thought I was gonna not gonna... Oh, I thought I was not gonna make it for a second. Okay. Pots. Got magic anyway. I guess they kind of expected you to take Medley, or uh, the Deku Leaf over here. Oh, uh, no, no fairy? Oh, it, prob it was probably because uh, that fairy we got in that room way back when. Way back when I got a fairy! Mm, what the best fairy in the world! Oh, hello. Oh, whoa. How is, uh, uh. Alright guys, this is Jalhalla. This may be, the, but I should say, this may be my least favorite dungeon in the game, but this is one of my f most favorite bosses in the entire Zelda franchise. Jalhalla is very simple. You defeat him mostly, for the most part, like a normal Poe. You shine light at him, he becomes solid. When, and you had to t pick, up with, um, pick him up and throw him at the, uh, the spikes on the walls. The one, only the spikes on the walls that go up to the ceiling, not the ones that circle around as an outline. And you just gotta wail at these poses until you're gonna you know, defeat all of them. This can be a very annoying boss, I know, but it's doable. And the reason why I love this boss so much is those silly noises and sounds. Oh, hey, a bo- <laughs> A bo- oh, oh, he's blowing fire- oh, he blew fire at me. Yeah, I got, I got a bomb. That's gonna replace some of the bombs I wasted during this dungeon. But yeah, you can only do it at the, uh, wall, the spikes going up to the ceiling. If you throw him at any of the spikes along the wall, he's just, you're not gonna, you know, break apart. You need the red ones that go into the ceiling. Okay, that's enough explanation. Right now, time to play. And I don't, by the way, I don't exactly know what constitutes how long he stays in the broken up form. Also, it's the further, further you get into the fight, the uh, skylights tend um, will open and close randomly. Okay. Throw him at the wall. Uh, one more. Yep, I got one more. All right, so about four or five. I think I can't find counting correctly there. Or maybe six. Five. Oh, he's about to throw a fire at me. It's kind of like close. Oh, crap. Got him. Throw a bomb at them. Nah. Nah, nah, that's not throw a bomb. I'm trying to always kind of like that. So two more. Two more! Come on, let's finish this up, guys. So two more. Fire at me, will ya? Ow. 
Oh, the skylight closed. <laughs> I don't know why I picked up the skull. Oh, what the? Uh. Oh, come on. Which oh, blowing? Ow, 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 ow. Okay, got him. Finish this up. Boom! All right. And that is it. a very poor choice to go, or a poor route to go. Excuse me. You got a heart container. Allow to increase by one. Oh. Go into the light. Prayers of the Earth Sage have restored the Master Sword's former energy. There's uh, one last step before it becomes the true Master Sword once again. Link, the power to repel evil is not yet fully awakened. To complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. Now, Link, step into the light behind you and return to the surface. Your next duty is to find the Sage of the Wind Temple. I remain here and continue to pray. You must hurry. And Link. Um, about Prince Kamali. Please watch him over him for me. Right. Now, first order of business after getting out of the, of the uh, of, uh, when, uh, er, bleh, Earth Temple to get the single bottle because uh, I like single balls. Anywho, that was a long dungeon. Holy crap! Over an hour's worth of play time. I, this particular part of the episode is about 50 minutes. So I think I'm gonna end things off here. So I guess join me next time for more than Zelda Break HD, where we try to find that Sage of the Earth of the Wind Temple and uh, find where he is. We don't really know, and maybe get a new item too. Also, we will be going back, to, before we do any of that, we're going to go to Outset Island and see old Gramps uh, again to see what he has for us. Now that we have ten uh, Knight's Crests, because he'll, he'll do something very awesome for us if we do. So, join me next time for all that and more. See you guys later.